What were the metaphor houses of peasants like? Imagine getting rid of all the comfort of your own house. One moment you're on your comfortable couch, relaxing while watching some TV, and the next moment you are transferred back to the Middle Ages as a peasant. A time in which you could not imagine the comfort you have today. For the average person in medieval Europe, life was nasty, brutish and short. Around 85% of medieval people were peasants, which consisted of anyone from serfs who were legally tied to the land they worked on, to freemen who, as enterprising smallholders, and tethered to a lord could travel more freely and acquire more wealth. What would you experience as a peasant? Depending on the wealth of the peasant and the available building material in the area, houses were constructed in various ways. The most basic houses were built with foundations that were just support posts driven into holes in the ground. Another type would be posts set in the ground on top of relatively flat stones, while the spaces around the posts were filled with stones and dirt. The most labor-intensive and expensive way of construction was to make use of stone foundations. These foundations lasted longer because it did not have contact with dirt and moisture, and this prevented the wood from rotting. The first type was the most common, as wood was the basic building material for the walls of peasant houses in most parts of Europe. Wood was relatively easy to obtain, move and shape compared to stone. Wooden walls also kept the inside of houses warmer than stone walls. Contrary to this, most wooden walls needed frequent maintenance and sometimes rebuilding. The most common wall building method was to interlace tree branches to form the basic support and then to coat them with a clay and straw mixture, a process generally known as waddle and daub construction. Waddle and daub is a mixture of mud, straw and manure. The straw was meant to insulate the wall, while the manure was intended to keep the whole mixture of these components together as well as giving it strength. The mixture of mud, straw and manure was then dried in the sun until it formed a strong building material. Though, the insulation was not good enough as the houses were likely to have been very hot in the summer and very cold in the winter. The roofs of the crack houses were thatched. It was quite flammable and provided a home for mice, wasps, spiders and other small pests. Straw was also used for lining the floor, but this was not always the case. Sometimes peasant houses did not even have a floor. Because windows let heat out and glass was expensive, the residents typically had only one window, which had no glass and was covered with shutters at night for security and warmth. A good wooden door was also too expensive to afford, so therefore peasants would make use of curtains. The houses did not have a lot of furniture. Giving a great birthday party in your house would therefore not be ideal. The peasants would also make a hole in the top of the house's thatched roofs, so that the smoke coming from the fire in the middle of the house could go out. This fire provided warmth and could be used for cooking. As the peasants only used one hole in the roof, which acted as a chimney, it would eventually create a very smoky environment within the house. The facilities that make our homes comfortable nowadays were abundant in the peasant houses during the Middle Ages. The people during this time were covered in dirt, fleas and lice. The beds they were sleeping in were mattresses stuffed with straw, also a perfect habitat for all kinds of bugs. There was no running water, no toilet and no baths, and therefore also no soaps or shampoo. When you had to go to the toilet, you would simply do it in a bucket and empty it into the nearest river. These rivers were also used to get water. This water had a number of purposes for peasants, such as cooking and washing. Not really a hygienic way of washing yourself in the feces of others. As a peasant was a farmer, they also kept a lot of animals. And these also became part of the houses of peasants at night in order to have them safe. The loss of any animal could be disastrous for peasants, and when they were left outside at night, they could get stolen or simply wander off, or eaten by other animals. However, this must have made the house even more dirty than it usually would have been, as none of these animals would have been trained to stay in houses. Plus the decreasing hygiene of the house, as the animals would have also brought in a lot of fleas and flies. 
though this was not the case for every peasant house. Some of these buildings were divided into two parts, one for the humans and another for the animals. Sometimes a peasant was even available to afford a separate small stable or lean-to for his animals. There was typically a single door for the human residence and perhaps another for the animal side and the storage areas. A wooden bar was placed across the door to lock it at night. Over time during the Middle Ages, houses including the houses of peasants became more sophisticated and stronger, making the durability of the houses also longer. But compared to our current homes and lifestyle, it could be said that living as a peasant during the medieval period was quite a hard time.